Stuart Young is a veteran journalist who has been based in Kenya and Nigeria in the past. Jeff Fry is an international communications consultant who is based in Manchester, England. Stuart Das is an events management expert whose company Emerald Touch is based in Nairobi, Kenya. And David Forbes is a South African writer and filmmaker and veteran political analyst. Most of us were here four years ago as observers for the last vote. We are here to share our observations of the Nigerian election so far. There is a longer statement from the entire group, but I'm, what I'm doing today is sharing, you, sh sharing the observations of this delegation that was based in Abuja. So I just want to make that very clear. The organization is bigger than the seven of us. Um, there are many other conclusions. I'm going to try to touch on the, the, the most important ones here, but we realize you guys are in journalists because we're all journalists. You're in a hurry, so we're going to try to get you out of here with what you need to, to do your report. Um, so let me stress that we've all been in Abuja, uh, the, the ones here at the desk, and have not traveled to other areas of the country to assess the situation there firsthand. We are currently monitoring in through information through the media, by engaging with other observer missions, by speaking to the contacts that we have established in our long relationship with Nigeria, and with other members of the IIFOM. We have seen some positive signs, including a reduction in violence, and a large degree of transparency in the process. But we are aware of problems and allegations of fraud. We have personally faced the challenges that Nigerians across the country have struggled with in recent weeks, the absence of cash to pay for transportation, food, and other basic needs. We are not here to pass a, a final judgment on the credibility of the balloting, as we need to collect more information before drawing any definitive conclusions but we are here to update you with, with what has happened so far. The International uh, Foreign Observes Mission will, will release our full statement uh, once, once they are printed. But one important conclusion that I would like to emphasize, it is our opinion that in, in the aftermath of elections, candidates are free to approach the courts or electoral tribunals for a review of the election process towards establishing whether or not the electoral process was compromised or not. This means it's not to be tried in the press, it's to be tried through uh, uh, official means. What I saw was a, a relatively calm situation. The only stress that was there was people trying to find their names on the, on the registration list. And that was a kind of stressful event at that at moment. But I found the, the INEC staff uh, reacting to that very professionally. And then they gave people numbers so they could queue in a nice way. And that also gave me an opportunity to speak to them. So at that particular polling station, uh, things were fine. So I could say that INEC there did a good job. 